We're talking to former Jack Lopampas, Sean Lopampas. You just finished up the Dallas Stars developmental camp. Just kind of give us a rundown on your overall experience out in Dallas. Uh, my overall experience was uh, unbelievable. I showed up, didn't really know what to expect, and then everything was just first class from the from the beginning with the open skate at the beginning and then the introduction of everything and just how the whole camp was set up with different workouts and different drills on the ice and the practice and stuff like that. So, so I'm I'm very grateful for my experience at camp. It was really it was really important for me and I enjoyed it. You feel like a, a pro? They they set you guys up there. They give you uh, the pant covers. You got helmets with the decals and, and Dallas Stars practice jersey. You look like you're an NHL. Or you feel like one? Absolutely. I mean, the first day when I showed up, I had I had my my hockey bag on my back and I put it down and and they were and they told me right away like yeah just put it down we're gonna take it over to the locker room and unpack it for you. I wasn't even allowed to carry it myself. So uh, so that was that was really surprising when I got there, but it was unbelievable. It was really cool. And there wasn't a lot of guys invited to this camp, 30 players, and they have, the, uh, of course, the draft picks from uh, a couple weeks ago, NHL draft. So there's some obviously some really talented players, a few from the American Hockey League. When you first went in, did you feel intimidated? What were kind of the emotions going into it? Well, I mean, I was a little bit nervous. Like, I knew there was going to be some some players there that had played a year or two in the American League, and, Obviously, the really young draft picks are unbelievable players at such young age. So, I mean, I was a little, little bit nervous coming in, but it turned out really well. You're gearing up, obviously, for your first season of college hockey, going out to Bemidji State in the fall. And you get this opportunity before you go out there to kind of have a measuring stick on where you're at as a player. Did you feel like that was a good opportunity to kind of see what type of player you really are when you're going against players who are some are already pros and others who have potential pro uh, careers in their future? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think it was very, very necessary for me to go in there, and it's going to help me a lot, too. Now I know coming in, I know where I'm – I have a better idea of where I'm at and what I need to work on and what I need to get better at to move up to the next level. but. It'll be it'll be awesome to go to school to uh, try to develop even more. I know Coach Gatto was talking about it. You you really started to kind of hone your your off ice workouts, some some dry ice training, getting in the gym, uh, trying to eat a little bit healthier. Um, what are some stuff that you're doing as you're gearing up for your first season of college hockey? Uh yeah, my my workout habits and my eating habits has changed a lot over the year, and now over summer I've been really focusing on eating healthy and and working out as much as possible uh, just to be as ready as I can. So I'm trying to be stronger. I'm working a lot. I'm becoming faster so I could use my, my speed more. But there are a lot of things that I'm working on to uh, to be prepared for next year in college. Well, you really didn't start playing organized hockey till you were about 18 years old, which is pretty remarkable, especially where you're at now. In the last year, you you won South Division MVP in the North American Hockey League. You were third in scoring in the league, and you made the All-Star team as well as a top prospect. What has been the last year for you in terms of your hockey career? Has it really been a whirlwind, and can you believe where you're at right now? Oh, yeah. I mean, the last last year has been unbelievable. Like, the last summer, that was nothing I expected coming into this season. And then uh, everything just turned out really well. Everything was just working for me. And uh, and obviously, I'm really excited to see how how I further develop and see, uh, see where it takes me. You had an opportunity to go back home, back to Sweden, before you came back to Dallas uh, for the developmental camp. And now it sounds like you're, you're at the airport right now making your way back home for a bit, maybe to recharge the batteries. You decided to go back home and just kind of hang out with the family before you come back to the States and begin uh, college. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to get back home for another month, and, and I'll, uh, I'll work on my game, I'll work on my strengths and all I need and stuff like that, and I'll try to spend as much time with my family as possible. Um, but I'm really excited for the school year to start. Uh, I'll head over there with very high expectations. It's going to be your first year of college. There's really uh, been nothing just uh, like going to college. I know you're, you're going to have a blast uh, for sure. What are kind of your goals as you enter your, your freshman season? I know the coaches have already told you they're going to give you some opportunities on the power play. You're going to play center, could get some uh, some top minutes too as well. Um, what are kind of your, your expectations and goals going into your freshman year? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm really excited about coming in. I'll be one of the older freshmen, and uh, and I know they've told me to uh, they told me that I'm 
I'm going to be given every opportunity to prove what kind of player I am and be a, be one of the top players from the from the beginning. But obviously, that's something I'm I'm going to have to prove, and I'm really excited to go in there and battle for my spot and uh, and hopefully it will work out well. One last question: Talking to uh, former Jack Hampus Shuttle here um, on our podcast with the Jackalopes. One last question: You're gearing up to go to school, so what are you planning on studying? I'm planning on studying business right now over summer. I'm working as a as an economics assistant, so I've already kind of decided to take that route, and hopefully I'll I'll enjoy it in school because business is what I want to do in the future. If hockey doesn't work out. Absolutely, you got to look uh, beyond. So it looks like you got a great hockey career, man. We appreciate the time. Best of luck. We're proud of you, and we're we're going to continue to watch your hockey career as you move forward. Sounds good. Thank you, Nick. Thanks, brother. That's uh, Jack Lowe, uh forward, former forward, Hampus Shoto.